viscosity what is viscosity here viscosity is the fluid friction it is similar to the frictional force that acts between two solid surfaces between two solid surfaces frictional force opposes the relative motion between them in the same way fluid friction opposes the relative motion between the two fluid layers now we understand viscosity like this suppose let us consider a fluid is flowing over a surface this surface over which a fluid is flowing as the fluid is flowing now there will be viscous drag or viscous force between two adjacent layers now let us draw the layers Now, these lines with increase in length are showing that the velocity of each layer is gradually increasing as we go, go up and the velocity of the layer which is in contact with the bottom surface with the ground is always at rest means uh, which is zero means always the layer which is in contact with the ground always remain, remains at rest as we go up gradually the velocity of the layers will be increased so that these are uh, lines of increase in length showing that the velocity of a gra layer gradually increasing as we go up if we consider two consecutive layers now suppose the layer is p and the layer is a uh, q the two layers p and q we consider here now between these two layers actually what happens there is a cohesive force of attraction between the molecules of the two layers now sub suppose these two are the two layers between the molecules of the two layers there is cohesive force of attraction this cohesive force of attraction opposes the relative motion between the two layers this upper layer tries to move the tries to drag the lower layer in the forward direction at the same time lower layer tries to drag the upper layer in the backward direction now this opposes the relative motion between two layers this causes the viscosity between the two layers now here we define the coefficient of viscosity for a fluid here now as we are going up we know that the velocity of layers gradually increases now for the two consecutive layers suppose velocities are v and uh, v plus delta v for the bottom layer for this layer for the below the layer velocity is v for above layer velocity is v plus d delta v and this uh, layer at a height x from the bottom and this layer at a height uh, x plus delta x from the bottom means uh, from the ground now here between the two layers the separation is delta x delta x is the separation between the two layers now here we define the velocity gradient velocity gradient is equal to delta v by delta x it is the change in velocity per unit distance delta v is a change in velocity d delta x is the distance now delta v by delta x means a change in velocity per unit distance this is called here velocity gradient now suppose between these two layers the viscous force is f the viscous force f uh, is directly proportional to the area of each layer if more is the area if more is the area then more is the viscous force uh, and uh, this viscous force is directly proportional to the velocity gradient if velocity gradient is more then viscous force also more now by combining these two equations we write here f proportional to a into delta v by delta x here we introduce the constant after removing proportionality f is equal to some constant eta into a into delta v by delta x here this is a symbol of eta it is pronounced as eta eta is the proportionality constant here now here eta is the proportionality constant which is called coefficient of viscosity eta is called coefficient of uh, viscosity now from this coefficient of viscosity is defined like this eta is equal to f by a into delta v by delta x we consider f is equal eta is equal to f by a by delta v by delta x here <coughs> now we can write the units and dimensional formula for eta as like this the cgs unit for eta is a poise 
and its unit is a poisoning. Sages unit is poise and SO unit is poisoning for the eta. And uh, we can also write units uh, in, the, in terms of units of force, uh, area, distance, velocity also. The CGS unit in terms of uh, units of all these. For force, uh, dyne for area centimeter square divided by for velocity centimeter per second divided by for distance centimeter. Centimeter will be cancelled, second goes to the numerator. So the di <coughs> dimensional uh, unit is a dyne second per centimeter square. Now similarly we can write SI unit as a Newton second per meter square. But Newton per meter square is the Pascal. So we can also write a Pascal into second. Pascal second also SI unit for a coefficient of viscosity. We write the dimensional formula like this. Dimensional formula of coefficient of viscosity is equals to first we substitute the dimensional formula of force. Dimensional formula of force is ML T minus 2 for area L2 and uh, for a uh, change in velocity means velocity for velocity L minus 1 divided by for distance L. L will be cancelled that is equals to we can write uh, L goes to the L2 goes to numerate because L power minus 2. So L power 1 minus 2 L power minus 1. Sorry this is T minus 1. T minus 1 plus 1. T minus 1. So co for coefficient of viscosity dimensional formula is ML minus 1 T minus 1. Here for force ML T minus 2 for area L2 for velocity L T minus 1 for length uh, distance L. L is cancelled. Now L2 goes to numerator L power 1 minus 2 min minus 1. L power minus 2 plus 1. L power minus 1 is dimensional formula for coefficient of viscosity. Here the coefficient of viscosity also defined as the it is a ratio of uh, shearing stress to the shearing strain. This is about the coefficient of viscosity.